Well, thanks for joining us on Chapel Rewind today. Our guest in chapel was Chris Brooks. He's a pastor in the city of Detroit. So thank you for being here today. Uh, tell us a little bit of your experience in chapel. Man, it was uh, it was amazing. You guys have a great chapel, best chapel in the whole country. Uh, worship was awesome. Just to see thousands of kids who are here on a voluntary basis praising the Lord and exalting Him. The love is infectious. And for me, it was great just being with these awesome kids. Well, you had a great message, a real challenge to find your city, find your neighborhood, um, to love others. Tell us a little bit of what you were trying to do. Yeah, what I, what I really was wanting to communicate is these two great love stories in Scripture. One we know really well, and that is God's great love for us and, and our call to love Him. But the second part of the great commandment is that we're supposed to love our neighbors or neighborhoods or communities, cities. And this is a side of the love story we really don't know really well. And so the heart of my message is God saved you for something bigger than you. But you're not the end goal of the gospel, but God wants to use you to help to redeem cities, to bring cities to Christ. And so my challenge to all the students was don't just find the what of your calling, find the where of your calling as well. And when you get into a city, bring truth, bring beauty, and bring the justice of Jesus to those cities. So did you grow up in Detroit? Is that I did. Your home? Detroit, born and raised, married there, baptized there, <laughs> uh, had my kids born there, and uh, probably will die there. Did you ever uh, come to a place where you felt like maybe I ought to leave? And uh, if yeah. so, how did you make that decision, I'm going to stay here? So stay. It happens every time I come to GCU. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, um, yeah, I mean, we constantly are tempted by uh, going and pursuing uh, our own passions and desires. But, you know, like Nehemiah in Scripture, God gives us burdens for certain cities. And so I've prayed a lot. God, give me a burden for where you want me to be. And I'm in Detroit not because I have to be, but because this is where God has called me to be. And uh, he's given me a vision, a vision for that city that's beyond the way it currently looks, not just as it is, but as it can be. And I believe he can do that for anyone. And the great thing, talking to the students, very few of them say, hey, I feel called to Detroit after your message. And that's cool. Mm -hmm. But they start naming cities all around the country that they're awakening to. I feel called by God to go here. Cities need Jesus, and this is the region why the church exists. The church exists so the cities might be saved. Uh, you showed a great video um, at the yeah, end of your talk, yeah, yeah. and it uh, kind of gave some snapshots of some of the ministry programs you have going on. Tell us some of uh, those that really kind of grab your heart. Yeah. Well, you know, the big thing that we want to do is we want to enable churches around uh, the city and in other urban settings on how to work with communities because community transformation is not a single endeavor. It's a multi-sector endeavor. We need education, we need government, and we need business. So one of the things we're doing right now is what we call the Urban Enterprise Project. We're working with 10 pastors in the pilot program, training them on how to work with the business and social entrepreneurs in their city so that we can produce programs and create jobs and opportunities so that we can bring again the beauty of God to neighborhoods. Mm. Yeah. Well, if uh, any of the viewers wanted to get a little bit more information about your yeah. ministry, where can they go? Well, we're at evangelministries.org, evangelministries.org, or they can just email me. I also work with uh, Moody. So if they email me at chris.brooks at moody.edu. That's chris.brooks at moody.edu. Wonderful. Thank you for being here today. Thank it you. was a real treat to have you in chapel. It was great to be here. Hopefully we'll have you back again sometime soon. Thank you. God bless you. Thanks for joining us.